I bought recently a, a Rico, uh, a few Ricos, in fact, in in, uh, in in a bundle, and this one is a F Rico uh, 500G uh, that I tested with a, um, a roll of um, 12 shot uh, black and white, and uh, I was uh, happily uh, surprised by this camera because the the results were very good. The lens is very good. I was quite surprised with what uh, what I got. Um, <coughs> uh, so the lens, it's a 40 millimeter uh, Rikenon, uh, opening 2.8. So not the brightest of 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 uh, openings. If you compare it with with a Canon QL17, which is opening at 1.7 or 19 1.9, or the Minoltas. Uh, series of the 60s. This is a, a similar camera, so uh, rather compact. Uh, I, quite, I quite like it. So it's uh, the G is a, a rangefinder camera. You, you can see that because you've got the, the, the double uh, uh, openings here. So you, uh, you, uh, when you focus, you, you have to, to have the, 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 the two images uh, with, uh, which coincide in the, in the middle. The viewfinder is, is bright and, uh, and you, you see inside um, and a little needle, so when you put the, the uh, camera to A, like automatic, you will select the speed here, so from uh, B to uh, 1 50th of a second, and when you change the speed, the needle will change and tell you which operator it's going to open, so like a speed priority program. Uh, very easy to use. The um, focusing is quite nice. I'm not very. I don't generally like a lot the range finders to focus, but this one was very, very easy to to use. As I said, a very bright range finder. And the the construction quality is 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 very nice. I mean, I, I look at that. It's a, it's a very, very good looking camera, and uh, I didn't pay a lot for it because it's not a a very well. Um, known camera if you compare it to the Canonet which is a uh, very uh, uh, expensive I think for what it is you've got one LF 444 um, uh, battery here to have the the, uh, the light meter um, functioning and mine was functioning uh, without any problem so um, the only thing that is not functioning but I knew when I bought it is the the the, the, the self um, uh, uh, self-taking picture uh, it's, it's not uh, the lever is not working so I didn't try that because I didn't want to block it uh, <coughs> I think it's good for street photo also because the you see it's it's very discreet the shutter sound is very discreet so here I can go to one uh, 250 okay and um, it's a camera which is uh, I hope you can see here made in Taiwan and uh, it's a good surprise I mean I took uh, a 12 roll a 12 shot roll black and white shot it when watching on the on the on the seaside and I was very happily surprised with the results I'm going to show some of the pictures now uh, I recommend it if you want to start uh, shooting um, you're not very familiar with film photography it's very very easy to use and the results are great. I mean, uh, easy to carry. You just have to uh, to uh, put it in uh, that little uh, bag, and uh, I think it's a it's 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 a great camera. It's uh, had a, a lot of pleasure carry, carrying it a lot uh, around with me. It's uh, easy to carry, not very heavy, good quality. Mm, it's a nice surprise, really a nice surprise. I didn't know the camera before, but um. I'm very happy with the results. So, without uh, talking too much, let's look at a few photos. Again, which was only a 12 roll, sh um, uh, 12 shot roll. So, I retain only a, a few, but it gives you an example of the the, the lens quality and uh, how the light meter worked well because I, I use the automatic mode and it, uh, it it gives me some great results. So, nice camera. Thank you for watching and please comment if you feel so. Bye.